The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Hi, uh, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Primal Edge. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, no, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 now your hosts, Biko DeHaan and Paige Clark. And welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced and natural wild world to recover our national health and regain our rights and freedoms. Good morning. I'm Nico DeHaan. And it's a beautiful morning in St. Petersburg, uh, Florida. It's uh, 75 degrees, mostly cloudy. I have a little rain today, but that's okay. And I'd like to remind you to pick up a couple of things. First of all, our Health Signals newsletter. Got a new one out here today. This follows the show, so all the articles that uh, concern the past two weeks are in here. So you can uh, kind of look down the rabbit hole yourself and see what's what. And please pick up our Primal Edge, our One Shot Wonder, over 310 cell, organic cell-ready liquid ingredients, so it's easier to take. And their plant-based uh, formula here is really, really good because it has uh, starts with fulvic and humic acids, which are nature's kind of miracle molecules that let the good stuff in and take the bad stuff out. And of course, uh, during this time of year when the flu season's coming about, this is really important if you want to really put that uh, little cap on your health saying, this is what I want to do and I want to remain healthy. Primal Edge is, is definitely the way to do it. And our number here is 877-927-6648. Paige is out right now. She'll be back next week. She's out getting her jaw adjusted again. I think this is probably the last time for a while, and then she goes on uh, either every th two or three months having it done and getting some braces in and things like that. It's quite a process. We've been following her, and we wish her well. Yeah, this morning I want to start off with the flu. So this is uh, from comes from the Cleveland Clinic. I always like to check uh, back at the... Uh, beginning of flu season, see, seeing what's what, what people are having to say. I haven't really had the flu in the last decade. I don't remember having it, and I don't get any flu shots. But, uh, of course, we're doing lots of other things, and uh, we talk about on our show here how important it is to keep your immune system up and how to do that one way. Of course, it's the primal edge. Taking some vitamins is one way, but the other way is making sure that you're eating organic, you're eating uh, really clean food, and you're not overdoing it, you're not into the uh, marketable sweets and cereals and things like that that's going on. So a rough flu uh, season, uh, flu season just wrapped up in Australia, and it could mean a worse one in the United States where flu season is just starting, the New York Times reports. It's too, too, too early to tell for sure because sometimes Australia is predictive and sometimes it's not, says Dr. Daniel Jerrigan. He's the uh, Center for Se uh, Disease Control and Prevention. But the best move is get the vaccine right now. Of course, that's the, the agenda. The first thing always is to push the vaccine, which you can get anywhere, of course. And um, let's see what else it says here. In uh, 2018, eight, 19, the U.S. Uh, flu season ran from October through May, NBC reports. As many as 43 million people in the United States caught the flu and up to 61,000 dead. That's quite a few. So this is kind of like an epidemic. You know, we talked about, uh, I think, in the paper the other day and for the last few, maybe a month or so, we've been talking about the vaping. And uh, people have been dying six or seven, maybe nine now. Uh, and we really don't know what it is. They Sometimes they think it's the vitamin E. Sometimes they think it's the nicotine uh, salts. Uh, sometimes they think it's some of the benzenes that they put in there. I don't think they really know. And uh, maybe it's just susceptible for some people. Uh, I know the... Uh, British uh, press has says uh, we're not concerned about it and most of Europe is not concerned about it. So we'll see where it goes. Uh, I say just be careful with it. It's, uh, it's still an unknown. And uh, a lot of these products have some really good uh, things in them and some of them may not be. So make sure you get it from a reputable dealer, <laughs> so to speak. So fleas, uh, flu seasons in the southern hemisphere where winter has just ended since sometimes help us predict the oncoming U.S. flu season. In Australia, which count flu deaths differently than the United States has a much smaller pot because they have a much smaller population. 662 people have died of the flu. 
hospitalizations and nursing home outbreaks were moderate to high levels. Um, the flu season began about two months early in Australia, dominated by a particularly uh, virulent uh, strain named H3N2. Cases of the flu in the United States remain low, according to the authorities, but a boy, a four-year-old boy with underlying health issues already died of the flu related. And a lot of times that's the case. We have something else going on and the flu comes and takes you down further. So who's most at risk? Children, older adults, pregnant women, anyone with a chronic health problem. Healthcare workers are especially vulnerable to both the flu and potential complications like pneumonia. People with asthma, diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and a compromised immune system due to cancer, HIV, or other conditions are among those people at higher risk. The question becomes, do I need a flu vaccination? Doctors at the Central uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention suggest getting a flu vaccination before the end of October. The concern with delaying it is that some people might have the opportunity to get vaccinated, may not have the opportunity later. Uh, the most important things for people to get the flu vaccine, get it before the epidemic starts. Uh, even if the vaccine uh, doesn't prevent the flu, it can reduce the severity of it. Uh, who should get it? Anybody who's got uh, any kind of different uh, syndromes, like uh, any compromised immune system disease, I would say. Pregnant women, they say, uh, should avoid the flu, uh, the spray flu vaccine, but they still should get the one shot. Who else? Uh, what else can I do to prevent the flu? Okay, here's some, maybe some, practice good hygiene. And that may be different for different people. Also avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth when, and disinfect uh, surfaces when uh, they're contaminated by germs. Of course, how do you know, I guess, when you're around people? But yeah, washing your hands and your face and not touching your nose and stuff like that can help it. I think what helps it more is your strong immune system, is getting yourself in order so you're eating very, very clean, very organic, no GMOs, making sure that everything that you get is fresh, and uh, just avoid the uh, pitfalls of sugar and cereals and grains and even some of the starchy vegetables that we tend to consume in the fall uh, can sometimes take down your uh, immune system. In other cases, it can raise it up too. So it depends what kind of shape you're in. Uh, if you do fall ill, stay home, limit your contact with other people so you avoid spreading the disease. So that's basically the claim. So what do you do for that? There's uh, some interesting things here. Uh, go to this article. If this thing's working here, yeah. Okay. Honey, oops. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Can honey water help clear up a cold? Or was my grandma lying? <laughs> when dealing with a cold, most of us uh, probably maintain uh, mainlining lozenges and tea, reach for a box of tissues, of course. But anyone dealing with these symptoms for more than a few days is probably willing to try anything. So we'll talk about this afterwards and see if honey is really something that uh, will help you through the flu season. Stick around, folks. We've got a lot more. Uh, please pick up our primal edge our one-shot wonder, and, of course, the new health signals is out. See you in a few minutes. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And welcome back. Uh, we're talking about uh, can honey water help clear up a cold? So um, honey water is exactly what it sounds like. Honey water is simply water with honey dissolved in it. Sometimes lemon is added, especially when people are using it for a sore throat or to uh, immune boost or just for added flavor. And in the picture here, uh, they have some cinnamon sticks, I believe, so you can do that too. Sounds delicious, but can it do anything for your health besides tasting good? So honey has been shown to benefit the immune system in a variety of studies. It contains some antioxidants and that contribute to the functions that protect the body from stress. Uh, honey uh, has antimicrobial and antibacterial properties that can also be helpful, although there are few large clinical studies confirming these benefits. Naturally, you can't even say that it uh, cures anything or it fixes anything because it's not a medication, and medications are the only ones that are uh, legally uh, allowed to tell you that they work for certain things. So, honey, you can't say that, but we all know this. This is a tradition going way back in particular has, uh, has very extensive cold fighting potentials. It has certain decongestant and any inf uh, inflammatory properties. Uh, honey can also be helpful if your cold comes with a side of hacking, cough. The texture of honey allows it to coat the throat and act as an effective cough suppressant. Several studies have found it to be just as effective as cough syrup in suppressing coughs in children. It's not definite if those results apply to adults too, but certainly can't hurt uh, to add some uh, tea or water with your honey. Honey has a variety of other health benefits uh, that make it beneficial outside of the cold and flu season. This author says uh, raw honey contains a variety of carbohydrates with some uh, compounds in it which uh, are not digested but great for your health. So they're adding to the microbial uh, uh, that's in your gut already. This is helpful for energy and proper uh, metabolism function. It also contains antioxidants that are likely to contribute to overall immune benefits. And a study also shows that honey ingestion to be associated with lower levels of this uh, marker of anti-inflammatory. It's called uh, prostaglandins. 
and they're markers for inflammation, so they do uh, really attack the inflammation. Uh, some uh, old wives' tales claim that honey water can be used for healthy weight management. That is definitely not true, says uh, the author here. There is no scientific evidence that any type of sweetener is correlated with weight loss, even artificial or non-calorie sweeteners. Also, honey is still a sugar regardless of whether you're adding it to water, tea, or even coffee. It contributes to your daily sugar count. Friendly reminder in here that you should not have any more than 25 grams of sugar per day, and I would say that is way too high. I say zero. Uh, still, uh, raw honey does have a lower glycemic index than other sweeteners, and since honey tastes sweeter, some people may be apt to use less of it uh, when they're using refined sugar. Yeah, in the afternoon, I use it with my coffee, and I found when I first started using it, I put a whole table or teaspoon in there, maybe even two of them, and now it's down to about a half a teaspoon, so it does. Uh, make it uh, like you're getting used to it and it's not as sweet as, or it's more sweet than it ever was. Uh, so it says, uh, what else is here? So it may not affect your blood sugar as much, but it's still smart to be mindful about how much money you're ingesting, especially if you're consuming it in honey water when you're sick. Uh, Interested in trying honey water? Honey will dissolve in warm water, so mix a tablespoon of raw honey with eight to 12 ounces of water and squeeze a lemon in if desired, and then stir it and take a sip. Bottom line, maybe it won't instantly fix the cold, but honey water has been helpful properties that can help you soothe some of the more uh, annoying symptoms like the cough or the inflammation. That was a particular kind of honey that uh, Paige and I talked about before. It's Melanleuca honey that comes from New Zealand. It's quite expensive, but very, very powerful stuff. And it's anti-bacterial and anti-inflammatory uh, and all those things. So good thing to have in your house, uh, maybe just as a backup for some of the other conventional things that you might be using and you want to use something that, uh, you know, our grandmother might have used. It's good stuff. So next, I'd like to take you to what the longest people, the longest living people in the world have in common. <clears throat> so in the, UC, uh, in the USA, the average life expectancy is about 78 years. That's like three years from now for me. But there are a few places in the world, specifically Okinawa, Japan, Sardinia, Italy, Nicoya, Costa Rica, in Syria, uh, Greece, where living to be over 100 isn't uncommon at all. In this region, is known as blue zones, life expectancy isn't just higher, uh, but uh, the uh, people who live over 100 are generally very healthy and their minds and bodies are still working well. So National Geographic uh, have been studying uh, these cultures and pinpointing the exact reasons why they thrive before publishing his findings in his best-selling book, he finds that despite the geographical differences, people living in the Blue Zones all had nine key living kind of lifestyle habits in common, which he named the Power Nine. Here, each pillar is explained with the input from doctors about why it's so crucial to connect health and longevity. So this is interesting because my passion has always been to uh, live long but be very healthy and this I started this uh, when I was in college I was uh, had, had a friend who had a macrobiotic uh, background and he was talking about the health benefits of macrobiotic cooking and I went down that whole rabbit hole of eating rice and just eating raw rice for a while uh, found out that really didn't click for me I, I did it for a couple of years uh, but from it I gathered a lot of decent information about uh, Himalayan salt, about different cooking methods, about why cooking food is important and how to cook your vegetables and how to cook your meats and things like that. So it became a very valuable uh, thing for me and also became valuable because that started me investigating more. Why didn't this work and why did this guy who invented the macrobiotic diet in the, around the turn of the century of the 1900s, 1890s, uh, and why was it popular and why people do this? So I started really digging into things and of course I was a vegetarian for a couple of years. I went back to meat, felt a, felt a lot better, started incorporating exercise in my life around in my early 30s, I started running, started exploring more things like um, 
uh, li lifting weights and just generally tr trying to be healthy. And this has continued all the way to now. We're uh, 10 years in the show now and just trying to figure out this puzzle of why people get sick and how can I stay healthy and what will make me live long but healthy at the same time. Because the last thing I want is to be that person who can't get up off the floor uh, because I have some physical thing that's wrong with me or whether my health deteriorates like what happened to my sister and had cancer. So this is really a personal journey for me and I'm always looking at these articles. And the first uh, thing it says here is that uh, move naturally. The author found that the Blue Zone communities movement was a regular part of their daily life for the residents. Um, in a book called The Longevity Plan, the author John Day, who's an MD, saw firsthand as well when he spent a year living in remote China. Even in their va the, uh, advanced age, he saw centenarians, uh, centennials uh, working in the fields and throughout the village. So hard work is just part of that physical labor, not necessarily bad labor, but just physically. And this is one of the reasons, of course, why we exercise. So stick around, I got a lot more. I'll be back in a couple minutes and this is a good time to pick up the primal edge during the break. We'd like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
And welcome back. I'm reading from this uh, wellandgood.com article, the longest uh, living people in the world have these nine things in common. The first one is move naturally, and this brings me back in mind to what my parents always did, take that walk in the afternoon, four o'clock afternoon, they'd be down on the beach taking that hour walk. And uh, that's something that's uh, instilled in our family, so we always like to take walks, and I think that's one of the best things we do. After all, we are descended from, uh, you know, walking beings. We're walking beings. That's all we ever did before cars and bicycles and horses and things like that. Here in the United States, our jobs are a lot more sanitary than they are in some of these places like China and that uh, where uh, these centennials live. But uh, Dr. Day still says we can uh, work this pillar into our everyday life, the pillar being the uh, movement, of course. Unfortunately, our modern lifestyles have been engineered in such a way to take movement out of our lives. So it's up to us to get as much of it in during the day. For example, you could uh, vow to uh, never use an elevator or escalator again unless the uh, stairs are restricted. Other options include an evening walk or doing something else uh, possible to avoid having to use a car. Even vacations can be scheduled in such a way to, that are physically active, like a vacation center around skiing, hiking, or cycling. Yeah, those are really good options. And taking the, the stairway instead of the elevator, I, I always, always did that. And this was part of my, when I was a sales trainer, I would always mention this, you know, why take the stairs? You're going up to see a customer, you want to get your blood going a little bit, take the stairs. It's, it's a good way to energize yourself. But uh, there's another thing, too, that you can take these things in like five or ten minute uh, exercises. Uh, you know, if you're sitting all day, you have a little timer every 10 or 15 minutes or 20 minutes or something like that, get up, walk around just for a few minutes, do a couple of squats. There's many, many things that we can do, and it's very, very important because this is how we evolved. We have to continue the movement, and uh, sports certainly is uh, a part of that. Uh, we have these little hobbies and playing tennis and golf, and these are all good things, but beware of doing Doing the same thing over and over and over again too. If you want inspiration, try something new once in a while. Uh, a lot of times these overuse joints and things come about because we're doing the same thing. We're going for that morning run every single morning or we're on the bike every single day. So use some common sense in that. So that's number one. Number two is have a larger purpose. Having a clear sense of why you wake up in the morning is, uh, is connected to living a long and happy life. So having a purpose, a happy, being happy in your work, boy, that's a big thing. Because we're forced in our society to have a certain job, boy, it's up to us to really pick the one we want that we're excited about, the one that we want to go to every single day. That's the type of passion that they're talking about here. There's nothing worse than saying, oh, I'm waking up, I have to do this again, my God. Those are the types of things that really get you down. Uh, Dr. Day adds that the connection between mind, health, and a sense of purpose is very powerful. Whether your goal is to beat cardiovascular disease or cancer or, or even to live a long and healthy life, study after study has found an association be, uh, between the purpose of life with all kinds of better health outcomes, an effect that stands regardless of age, regardless of sex, education, or race. You have to have a reason to get out of bed every morning. Sometimes uh, that pushes you and motivates you. Uh, for within purpose is the next impossible uh, is next to impossible to maintain healthy behaviors and lifestyle that is conductive to a health. So without the purpose, you can't really do it is what they're saying and I kind of agree with that thing I think you need to be happy one of the thing passions I have is coming and doing this show and be horrible if I thought oh god here I have to be on the air I have to prepare and you know these are the things that we look forward to the same thing going to jujitsu uh, having your uh, afternoon walk perhaps uh, cooking meals whatever that passion is you need to have a passion in life number three manage your stress so chronic stress is terrible for your health, which is why stress management is one of the pillars of living a long, healthy life. We all have stress. The key is how you perceive your stress. So this is uh, more of a framing yourself, having a positive outlook perhaps instead of seeing the bad side of things, maybe looking at the brighter side of things, something that my father gave me. He always looked at the bright side of every single thing. And I think it's a very positive. There's a lot of people who look at the negative side of things. And 
I don't think they look at it necessarily that they want to, you know, have bad health and they, they want this. It's just that that's the way they've been brought up. With me and my wife, we both have first reactions of the opposite way. So we kind of help each other in those types of situations. And we, that's how we learn from each other, too. So managing your stress, exercise plays a big part in that. Eating properly plays a big part of it. Uh, having that uh, purpose in life, of course, uh, doing your exercises, things like that, all are very, very important things. Number four. Eat until you're 80% full. This is huge. And I find myself in the last maybe four or five years, we always have something left on our plate as leftovers. This is just something that my wife and I seem to do now. Here in the States, uh, generous oversight portions of food are valued greatly. But in blue zones, uh, the people stopped eating when they were mostly full. Not when they finished everything on their plate or were too stuffed to eat another bite. He also observed that the biggest meal of the day occurred in the late afternoon or early evening, not really close to bedtime. He also, uh, let's see, uh, scientific research has shown that eating late at night is linked to unhealthy weight gain, which isn't exactly great for your lifespan. And number five, stick to a plant-forward diet. Uh, while we're on the subject of food, people in blue zones tend to eat a diet that's primarily plant-based, consuming meat only a few times a month on several occasions. I think this has more to do with the availability and the uh, financial aspects of them, but certainly eating the clean food, eating the clean vegetables, eating them seasonally, eating them uh, in such a way that they're processed for us to eat and are very beneficial. Remember that in China and Japan, in a lot of these areas that are blue zones, people really ferment a lot of things. They put, and fermenting, folks, takes a lot of planning. If you just look at miso, miso is a eight to 10 year project. Some companies even do it four years or so, but it's a long process. So you really have to think almost a decade ahead to plant this stuff in the ocean and have it come up 10 years later as food or in these big vats that they use. So it's really important to understand that even though they may have had a more plant-based diet, they knew what to do with those plants and there's certainly not the type of salads that they're eating that we have here. Certainly no GMO, probably comes from their garden, they're probably gardening themselves. A lot of things go into this. So I put this out there that, yeah, they had a plant-based diet, but, and it says here too, in China's longevity village, they picked uh, their own pro produce and ate it the same day. Another huge thing. And since they were essentially cut off from the rest of the world, they didn't have access to sugar or any processed food. The author also states that they ate fish maybe twice, maybe three times a week, which he says brings to mind kind of the Mediterranean style diet, which is loved by uh, doctors and uh, other dietitians. So the these are definitely big things to do, and we've got a lot more, so uh, let's stick around uh, during the break. Please take a look at the Health Signals newsletter, and it's only $5 a month, uh, $10 for, or $10 a month, $5 for each, each issue. Pick that up, and time to look at the Primal Edge, too, and uh, I'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hey, well, welcome back to the show. Sometimes I get uh, letters or something, uh, and I thought I'd read this one. This is from uh, one of our listeners, Wayne, uh, Wayne Sorensen. Uh, hi, Nico. Found these in the state sale in uh uh, Pegaso, Pegoso Springs this summer thought you'd be able to have some fun with these after your Colorado trip. Keep up the good work. And these are pictures in postcard form of stuff in Colorado. And some of these are some of the trails that my wife and I did. Uh, this is the last dollar road. We went up that. This one is uh, another lost dollar road. The town of Silverton. This is really cool, Wayne. Thank you so much for thinking of me. And my wife will get a kick out of this, too, and we'll definitely use them. It brings back really good memories of being off-road in Colorado and doing all of, the, all, all of the things that we do up here. So let's get back. Thanks, Wayne. Really appreciate that. Uh, number six in our uh, query here, and now I've got everything up in the chat room, so <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, moderate alcohol consumption uh, across blue zones. Uh, uh, the author uh, observed that alcohol was consumed but moderately, one or two glasses a day with a friend or food. This makes sense as light to moderate drinking, particularly wine, has been associated with a longer lifespan. According to a 2017 33,000... 333,000 person eight year analysis. Though those who occasionally enjoyed, uh, enjoyed a drink, seven or less per week to be exact, were 20% less likely to die of any cause and 25% to 30% more likely to die of cardio cardiovascular disease than those who were completely sober. The key, of course, is to be mindful, it says here. Yeah, of course. Okay, so let's go back to the chart here. So number six, number seven, find your community. A sense of family and community is important in all blue zone communities. Um, it's been directly linked to health. Most, uh, many studies have been shown that lower rates of hypertension, obesity, diabetes, and possibly even cancer for people with lots of friends, loving relationships in their lives, he says. Uh, Dr. Day observed firsthand how belonging uh, affected how belonging affected your health of people in China's longevity village. Our research shows that as long as people stayed in the village and adopted the village lifestyle, they were healthy and aged, aging was slow. However, if they left, uh, 
for employment in one of the big cities, then their health suffers. Uh, and I uh, equate this to like the tribal type of thing. So we have a tribe of people, maybe 30, maybe 150 people, and these are your buddies. These are the people that you can count on. These are the people that you live with, solve problems with, gather food with, eat with, sleep with everything. So this is the type of community. We don't have that anymore. Our community has been pushed aside uh, from a very early age. We were pushed out of the house instead of into the community. Uh, we're away at school. We're away at our jobs. We travel long distances to go places. Some people commute two or three hours a day. This is a type of thing that is really not good for our health, but our jobs demand it. Our type of lifestyle demands these things. So now we have to find other ways of connecting. And I would say the community of Facebook and Twitter and those things are not real communities. These are fake communities. These are to kind of give you a little peace of mind and then rattle your brain. That's kind of the way I look at it. To try to stay away from those things. Uh, it's difficult because we're all apart and we want to connect. Connect through the telephone might be better. Face to face is the biggest thing. And number eight is uh, stay close with family. And again, this uh, kind of the same thing. We're pushing our family away. We, uh, in the old days, you go back uh, just even a few hundred years, I doubt it if your normal f uh, farmer would find it uh, in their hearts to give their baby to somebody else, maybe in their home just for a couple of hours, but imagine taking it out of the home for hours at a time. It just doesn't make any sense. Educating your children, your children are always educated by ourselves to make sure that their path was right. So uh, similarly in Blue Zones, families stay, tend to be close both geographically and emotionally. And I think the geographic part really in the United States is huge because here we have a huge, huge country and because of our jobs and because of our education, we move larger distances. Younger generations value and uh, help care for older ones. This is the way it used to be. Now our older ones are segregated. So everything we do in our society today segregates us. Uh, and that's really different from segregation as a population of like uh, uh, different minded people. In other words, uh, the black community, the brown community, yellow community, the white community. These are natural things that we always wanted to live together. And at the same time, now we're not. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. I think the more we coagulate, the better it would be. The more we interbreed, the better it will be. We'll go back to one, maybe. It would be better. Uh, it says here, Dr. Day says that health, a, a healthy age requires a close network of friends and family who share the health goals and values, not something people can do on their own. This may, be too, may, may too be related to a sense of belonging. This may be in part of the healthy lifestyles, happy, healthy, excuse me, happy people adopt along with other factors we cannot measure. The connection between people is huge. You're alone for a while, and the pull to find companionship comes very quickly. Uh, this uh, past weekend, I was alone for quite a, quite a while, and I always felt that pull. I can't wait till my wife gets home. I have to go visit this person, that type of thing. We like to be alone, but we like to have, be connected also. Number eight. Well, that's number eight. Number nine, uh, maintain a full, uh, filling social life. Well, this is uh, kind of the same thing, I think. Uh, it involves uh, community, involves having friends, involves uh, maybe your bartender, somebody you talk to, maybe your therapist for some people. But when it comes to longevity, you need to have a pal. You need to have somebody that you can vent with. Uh, this, I guess, is why social workers and chiropractors and not chiropractors, but uh, psychologists and things are around today because we don't have the buddy to talk to. Uh, we're, we're constrained by work and by th things that uh, our ancestors never had to deal with. Uh, so maintaining a full life to me means connection to people, connection to your family, first of all, connection to your children, connection to your grandchildren. I have great grandchildren. I don't connect enough, that's for sure. And I think we all have this l little problem. So if you want to be healthy, I think some of these things are really, really important. They don't mention in here really about food as much except for that little thing about uh, eating just vegetables. But I think if you eat clean food, no matter what it is, is you're going to be successful at that. It's, uh, it's a thing I really think about these days because as I'm getting older now, uh, the danger of being hurt and then putting into a home 
that's always kind of there. Uh, that's something I never want to see. I never want to be in one of these homes, not with all these strangers. I want to be with family or by myself, maybe. I don't know. You know, uh, we'll figure it out for sure because I don't know if you're incapacitated. Uh, do you have really control over this, this kind of thing? So, this, and all of many things to think about here as you get older. Maybe when you're 25 and 30, you don't think about it at all. Maybe in your 50s, you don't even think about it. But now that I'm in my 70s, going towards that big 80, these things come to mind. I want to be independent. I want to have friends. I want to be connected with family. And, you know, these things are really important. And yet, I live 1,300 miles away from a lot of my family. Thank goodness I have my wife and my friends here. Something to think about. Anyway, I'll be right back. Uh, stick around, folks. I got a little bit more. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week, live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. And welcome back. Uh, in the last segment, I want to talk about this. Um, what the heck is wrong with this thing? Uh, an increasing rare scientific uh, look at red meat we can sink our teeth into. So what uh, she's doing here, let me cancel this thing so I can read this. Scientists at the McMaster's University, Ontario, Canada, uh, took up a recent trend toward generalizing uh, adequate nutritional recommendations based upon weak observational studies and instead sought after an objective scientific analysis by looking at the best quality available evidence from decades of research. 
research looks at it was amounting to literally millions of human participants in five systematic reviews covering a large number of quality studies in order to arrive at their so-called controversial conclusions. Uh, you know, in, in recent years, the uh, trend has been, of course, to get away from meat. And uh, Harvard uh, University uh, started doing different studies on this. So McMaster's University uh, has really pulled out some of these really good studies. And I'm going to be putting this in the uh, next newsletter, of course. And uh, there's quite a bit in here, so I can't really go into it too much, but basically what they're saying is when the meat is clean, when it's grass-fed, uh, all the nutritions are in there for a healthy life. This is what we need to be healthy. And even some of these processed meats that we've talked about, and Paige and I have talked about, there's a difference between you know getting a hot dog uh, wherever you're getting that and making a nice sausage out of some real good veal or some good beef or some pork or whatever you're using well, that you know is clean you know that is comes from your area you know that you know they happen to know the butcher which is uh, rare these days and in Europe it's still that way for a lot of uh, you know for a lot of countries hopefully it stays that way but I think this is something that we want to get back to we want to get back to have having a butcher uh, in our lives uh, just like uh, the tailor used to be in our lives and the, the shoe repairman used to be in our lives and it seems like these things now we throw out and get something new so uh, even though I'm not reading this uh, and going into it too much, just uh, be advised that there are some really, really good meats out there and you just have to know where to find them. So thanks for sticking around. I think Paige will be back next week, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.